All right, here he is, the charismatic UFC lightweight contender and former Bellator champion, Iron Michael Chandler. He said when he signed with the UFC, Daniel, he was not here for a long time, but a good time, and been a darn good time thus far seeing Michael Chandler compete in the big show. It's been a good time for us. I don't understand how he's having fun when he's involved huh. in those types of fights, but this guy's an absolute beast. I mean, he is a forward pressure, face-first fighter, and those are always the ones that we enjoy. Michael Chandler has the ability to just take you down, but he would prefer to punch you in the face. Let's see how many he goes. Let's see how many he can land tonight as he steps to the octagon again. And plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it. Let's see how it goes for Michael Chandler in another big spot tonight. Michael Chandler ready to make a statement in front of this capacity crowd here tonight. If you want to talk about a division being the glamour division in this modern era, maybe it's lightweight, and this is the man they are all chasing, the undisputed king at 155 pounds. He's the champion of the world, the lightweight champion, a very difficult belt to capture. This is one of those titles that when you start, it seems like the journey is so long, it's so daunting, because those champions are tremendous. This guy knew from day one that one day he would hold that championship belt. He got there and he has been defending it valiantly. He's a tremendous champion and he loves the opportunity to once again prove that he's the best. And it is interesting to look back at some of his early days in the UFC compared to this version. Night and day, we'll see how it goes for the champion here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Iron Michael Chandler. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles DeBrox Oliveira. Herb Dean, third Great man fight. in the octagon Great. tonight. Great. All right, here's the lightweight contender and former Bellator champion, Iron Michael Chandler. When he signed with the UFC, he was very clear about his intentions. He wanted to fight only the best, and that's exactly the way his career has played out. That being said, this man is hell-bent on realizing UFC gold, and when it comes to this particular matchup, he says he's got to get a knockout. Decisions aren't going to be good enough to get him where he wants to go, and he believes, given the striking defense on the other side, there will be opportunities to close the show. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. Big double leg, low team. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's going full mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands. He Modified needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oliveris right back to the full mount. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Are 
back and forth in submission defense wins this transition. Less than two minutes now to go. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Oliveira. Big ground and pound. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Michael Chandler. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. 20 seconds to go in round one. Good work from the top here by Champ. Great submission defense. Ground strikes are starting to add up. Uh, Horn sounds uh, for the end of round one. Aí, senta aí, senta aí. Respira, relaxa. Sim, muito bom. Fez muito bom nesse round, ok? Seu chute está indo muito bem, ok? Your strikes are going. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands. On both sides of the octagon, both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. That one was clean. Great punch. Oh, I'm not sure knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on. Wobbly leg. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. Oh, how good was that flying knee? Chandler's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. counter to the guillotine there. Get side now. Now, oh, great submission defense. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Drops down inside the now closed ball of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Olivera's going for the sub here. That guillotine is tight. Great submission defense on this play. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Oliveira. Great ground and pound by this man. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to... Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, out of danger now. It looks like he might get a win by submission instead. Right back to his foot. Oh, submission attempts in bunches tonight. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Got an angle here. To try to change the position. Submission. Oliveira's got the full mount. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. And now he's got the back. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound. Ooh, flattens him out now. This could be the beginning of the end. Huh. Well, the striking clinic continues.
continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. High velocity elbow is blocked. Well, that combination is going to test his chin. Nicely done. Squeeze punch. Trying for a submission here. Now he's in trouble. He's up. What submission defense on this court? Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Chan. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Chandler's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the under. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. When you get a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Oliveira's pass attempt denied. Great defense by the fighter. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Get on the side. Get on the side. Don't let him keep you flat. You gotta move. Don't be flat. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Oliveira. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship Stop. rounds. All right, take a seat, breathe, move with the ball, okay? In through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, olha, the próximo round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus six. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, no. Oliveira's trying to lock up on a submission now. Here, Hulk looks tight. Oh! 
Incredible job to escape. Great job to burn. He get his weight all the way across in defending that heel hook. That was fun to watch. Refs will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Get the mount here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Changing the position. Lands the ground and pound strike. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oliveris back in full mount. Great defense by the defensive fighter. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. Oliveira is now looking for a Darce choke. Oh, he might be in trouble here. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Twenty minutes in the can, five to go. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the right. knockdown. When you Please. knock somebody down yeah, like that, it's got, got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can drop <laughs> another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't wanna have too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, huge left. Chandler going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Oliveira gets tattooed with that hook. He's going to have to change some things here. He's got to start holding his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Beautiful kick. Well, he's Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called a stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Iron Michael Chandler. All right, so Michael Chandler, your winner by flush KO. It's really amazing to look at his UFC body of work because even though he's sort of a 500 fighter in the UFC, the wins, right? Dan Hooker, Tony Ferguson, and now this one tonight? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, the level of competition that this man has fought.